Well, the most, the most effective, exciting learning environment is kind of what I was just saying. I mean, when you walk into, when you walk into a school that, that has a sort of democratic model, um, a project-based um, kind of philosophy behind it, um, and, and you walk in, it's, it's kind of palpable, the excitement, you, because you see students are, are activated, they're active, they're doing things, they're not passive learners in, in the exciting environments. And there are schools across the country, that are right here in Los Angeles, that are doing that. But there, there's another ingredient which, which leads me back to the five other solids as well, and that is um, the kind of joy that comes out of working on arts projects as well. So when you come into a school where there's, where there's singing and dancing and where there's student artwork on the walls and exhibits and concerts, jazz, classical and so on, which by the way at my old school Crossroads, it's palpable when you walk on the campus. I've taken Los Angeles Unified School officials on tours and one of them who, who um, actually ran for state superintendent of education after his tour looked at me and he said, wow, this is the gold standard, isn't it? And I said, yeah, but it could be, it could exist in every public school in America if we sort of look, looked at our priorities. And one of the priorities ought to be that kids wake up in the morning looking forward to going to school because it's a place where they experience a certain amount of, of joy and, and excitement and an opportunity for self-expression. And whatever their talents are, there's a place where they can find some expression for that talent. But the curriculum, has to be rich and diverse for every kid to find where he or she can plug in. But if you just limit it to, to math and reading skills, then the kid who is brilliant in music or the kid who's a brilliant um, inventor of robotics um, kind of projects that can do things that haven't been done before, that kid sits in class all day long, bored out of his mind, and, 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 you know, and, and we're losing the kid's talents. So, a joyful atmosphere, a creative atmosphere, um, and an atmosphere of self-expression, cooperation with the, with the teachers, and actually occasionally asking the students what they're interested in, instead of, instead of the, it, it being totally adult-driven. Now, I, I, I hasten to add, I don't want it to be all fun and games, because I'd like students who graduate in the 12th grade from any high school in America to have read a couple Shakespeare plays and be able to, to have read Dostoevsky or Faulkner or whoever and be capable of reading that. And if it's all project-based and if it's all, you know, making things and so on, then the writing and reading skills are, you know, could be diminished. And so that, that's something we have to attend to. So, you know, in, in my dotage, um, I, I keep thinking the important thing is balance.